Several people have tried to cycle to the South Pole before. No one has yet succeeded. This bike, I believe, will give me the opportunity to succeed and be the first person to cycle to the South Pole. concept was a senior project and it evolved into a prototype company and then production for mountain bikes and turned into a motorcycle line. And now we are going to branch back into the mountain bike world with the introduction of our all-wheel drive fat bikes. So here we have a cutaway explaining how the all-wheel drive system works. This is one of our standard uh, geometry bikes. Uh, and you can see from the back that there's uh, a gearing system on the rear and it, it actually can engage and disengage from a clutch mechanism, drives a shaft up through the frame through a series of universal joints, up into the head tube where we have the gearing system, down to the, the crown of the fork where there's a step over chain and into the drive shafts that go down to the front. This is a telescoping drive shaft on the suspension and on the fat bike there won't be suspension. And then, then we have a front gearing system that goes into the one-way hub in the front. So this frame here is the same uh, frame as what Kate Lehman is riding. And you can see that the tire limit will come into here. 190 millimeter rear, it's going to carry the 5 inch wide tires and a 5 inch front on our custom made fork. We can also adapt this bike to a mid-drive, which we actually have over here, which is the four inch version frame. This can only accommodate the four inch tire, and we have the frames will be dented in a little bit to accommodate the four inch wide tire. Well, limited by the split rail, you can only go to four inch rear tire. So this will come in also just a standard four inch fat bike, and also we'll have available a mid-drive system uh, that you can purchase as well. So we've developed power. A suite of products for cycling and the outdoors and camping and running and parties. The thing that sets these products apart is the same thing that pulls them all together, the power. Each product you'll see here is powered by one power bank. Let's start with the bike light, this thing. The unique gimbal shim mounting system, the buttonless twist operation, the multifunction LED formation and the programmable modes. Yes, you can design your own flash patterns and constant settings, which is all very nice. I really don't care about any of that. I just think it's sexy as... Now this one has 300 lumens. But don't forget, power lights can use the same battery. So this power bank can be used with a higher power light head. And still, by the way, has longer runtime than most of the competition. Now he has an 800 lumen light. Too easy. So, you can have backup spare batteries and use the power bank to charge the Garmin on your bike, your phone, use it like a power bank. But why stop there? We didn't. The power collection extends to a lantern for camping. Again, we made sure that this isn't just an afterthought. The power lantern has best-in-class brightness and features like torch mode. It means you'll never need another camp light. And if you're camping, you might want a head torch. So there is power head torch. You don't need to buy a whole head torch if you've already got the bike light. Just get the head strap, put it together, and you're good to go. But why stick to lights? There are far more entertaining things that need power. That's why we have power sound. Bluetooth speaker that has enough oomph to get the party started. It also has a mount for your bike.
Power. It's not just another bike light. 